Hey YouTube, it's Dan and today officially marks the end of five months digital marketing freelancing and one of the things which I promised I'd do for myself is record a vlog every month to chart my progress and see how things have been. Someone asked me yesterday whether going freelance was the right thing to do and before she had even finished asking me the question, my answer was yes, yes, definitely. It has been such a good move, but this has just been the perfect stepping stone for me in terms of my plans and where I want to go. So the last vlog I did was at the end of August and obviously now is the end of September. And in that month, it has been a good month, but it probably hasn't been the best month. I say that it's been more turbulent is the best way to describe it. Every other month has just been consistently really nice and good. And September had a few lows and some really good highs. So it's a bit more up and down, but overall still very, very good. Now, unfortunately, one of the things that did happen probably about the first week of the month was that one of the uh, marketing agencies which I work with, their client in turn changed their retainer. And that meant as a result that I basically had no more work to do with them because the skills that I offer weren't needed anymore. And that sucked. So when I found out that the client had changed their retainer, that suddenly meant that I had lost a big chunk of time and a big chunk of money. And that's pretty much how I felt. Pretty demoralised, pretty worried actually, about what I was going to end up doing. Actually, if you look at it, it's a pretty good thing because it's meant that I've actually got a load of time to work on all the projects which I've been meaning to do for absolutely months. And they, in theory, are things which could earn a lot more money for a lot less time and focus on my goal of trying to generate a passive income. So I've been able to work on them loads, which has been great. One of the really good things which I'm going to be launching as a result of having that extra time next month is a brand new business which me and a friend are working on. I won't say anything more than that at the moment as I want to keep it a surprise and probably do a proper vlog on it come the actual official launch. But needless to say, we've been working on the website, we've been working on personas and strategy and getting bank accounts set up and all those different bits and pieces which come as part and parcel of actually running an official business. And that is so cool to actually say I'm running my official business as opposed to just freelancing. So yeah, more on that later. The other thing that happened during the month was I was, and I actually said in the August vlog, was that I was going to go to a number of events. There was a really big fitness business expo up in Birmingham mid-month, and there was also, if you haven't heard of it before, Brighton SEO. Now, if you ever get the opportunity to go, go. It is absolutely incredible digital marketing event based, as the name suggests, down in Brighton. There's about three and a half thousand digital marketers which go and attend. It's an absolutely great day and it's completely free if you can get a ticket. Tickets go like crazy, they go like in five minutes. So basically, if you're ever interested, I'll put a link in the box below for the Brighton SEO website. Sign up to their newsletter and you'll get information about when the next ticket release will be. It runs twice a year and it's really worth going. However, as I said, this September didn't end up going for a whole variety of different reasons. Having said that, I've been four times four, so it's like, mm, do I go, do I not go? What's the best thing to do? After a lot of mental debate, decided not to go, but the next one is in April and both me and a load of other digital marketing friends will be going. So that Basically, that combined with this work drop-off meant that I was like, oh, September's kind of dull. And it's okay, it's fine, it's all good. But, you know, there's nothing spectacular on the horizon. Everything's just ticking along nicely. And then September seemed to really kick in. So everyone suddenly, I think it's because in the run-up to Christmas and suddenly 2018 isn't all that far away, Starting contacting me about work, I've had four really good uh, leads come in from various different people, which I'm still talking to. Some of those projects are signed off. Some of them are going to take a bit longer. More on those in the next couple of months um, as and when they may sign off. So to mark the end of September, both myself, a friend of mine, and a few of the other digital marketing guys from the agency I work with called Optics went to Like Minds event in Exeter. Like Minds is actually a bit like a mini version of Brighton SEO. It's a once a year event, I think, which 
it doesn't really just have one particular theme but there's loads of fantastic talks from a whole range of different very influential very clever business people one of the best talks that i saw whilst i was there was from a guy called minter dial who again as an occupation probably would be best described as a futurist um i will stick a link in the uh, description below about what he kind of covers because there's a whole range of different things and that's what I love about these presentations in that he touched on about 15 different case studies and businesses and organizations which do the most random stuff with new technology that you never never would have heard of before. Looking ahead to October there are potentially two absolutely incredible things which are going to happen to me which are going to massively push me out of my comfort zone and could be just both an amazing adventure with one of my clients and that unfortunately is all I can say at the moment partly because it hasn't been a hundred percent signed off it's almost there it's almost going to happen but it's not quite there for me to be able to actually say but it's going to be incredible if it goes ahead so if you are thinking about going freelance, here is some of the top things that I've learned over the last five months. Number one, don't be afraid to just try stuff. And that goes for trying to get in front of new customers, trying new different tactics to try and promote yourself. Just, just trying. At the end of the day, you're only gonna fail. And from those failures, you're gonna learn stuff. And only from that learning stuff are you gonna get better. And that's one of the things which I've really been trying to do over the past couple of months to both broaden my kind of repertoire of skills. Um, and also just to see what works, what doesn't. Also what I like and what I don't like at the same time. So try everything and learn from there. Also, if you're considering going freelance, it is well worth not trying to put all your eggs in one basket, purely because if, as what's happened in September, a certain shift in terms of your overall work means that you lose a percentage of time or income, it means you've got other things to fall back on. Don't just ever work with one or two other clients because if they go, then you're really gonna struggle. You have a massive gaping time and that could seriously affect your income. Tell people about what you're doing. It sounds really weird, I know, but actually one of the biggest things I've got from this is actually telling people I'm gonna go freelance, telling people I've gone freelance, and then obviously doing things like this vlog. I've been genuinely really surprised at the number of people who've seen this or seen different bits and pieces I've been putting out on LinkedIn. Just keeping that sort of active awareness that you are in the market, you are available to do work, just acts as a way of really helping to try and promote your own brand, as it were. Um, in order to be able to pick up more work, build connections and get more done effectively. Lastly, try not to feel that you're on your own. Being self-employed is by its very nature a solitary business and therefore a lot of the anxieties and problems that you come up against, you kind of feel that no one else may have experienced these before and it's just your problem. Whereas actually there are hundreds and thousands of people who are self-employed and there are even more people who've been self-employed in the past. And what that means is that there is an incredible network of people out there, both online and offline in real life, who can give you plenty of guidance and advice. That only comes though from being honest with those people about how things are genuinely going. You see so much stuff online about how we've won this client, we've won this client, we're so happy to be here that actually it wears a little bit thin. You can see through the cracks that actually probably everything isn't quite all right. But until you accept the fact that you do have vulnerabilities and you do have weaknesses, it's gonna be one of those things where until you are aware of them, and until you are willing to tell other people about them, that you're gonna get the necessary advice and support from other people to be able to do a better job. So reach out to people, um, including me if you want. If you are thinking about going freelance, and I know from speaking to a large number of people recently, that sort of seed in their mind about being self-employed, both in marketing and in other industries, um, it's, been, it's been planted and they are thinking about doing it. So if you need any advice, please feel free to drop me a line. I can either point you in the right direction of a load of books I read, some articles which gave me some absolutely incredible guidance on about doing this. During October, there are some incredible things happening. I will keep you posted. If you want to check them out, follow me on Twitter at DanWHT. I will stick a link in the box below. 
In the meantime, any more questions, feel free to shoot them my way, and I shall see you next month. Thanks for watching.